Good morning, voyagers. How you doing? Um, 24 hours after the release of ABBA, Just a Notion as a single. Now, you may know that I wasn't really keen on it back in 94 when I heard it on the CD box set and so on. I was still sceptical, but, you know, when I put it on the CD and transferred it into my living room and played it through my, you know, as it should be now heard... I was, you know, quite happy with it. Um, a lot. Of, I mean, I did try to not hear it until I heard the on the album, but you know, in the social media, it's impossible to not see reactions to it. So I just thought this is just a, a losing battle. So I, um, I you know, tried my best, but there got a little few things here so that's my reaction my reaction basically i mean the whole thing about the whole song back in 78 was it it, it felt to me that the song didn't go anywhere when it was initially recorded and so they have tidied it up and they have retrieved it and rescued it very well very very well um and i do still think it still sounds like the four of them around a microphone kind of one oneness um, together, although in the the mix now, I think they have played with the levels because I've noticed in um, the original version there's Frida and Agneta and more weak. I think they've put Agneta slightly up and brought Frida down for some reason. I don't understand why, but there you go. It's the way. Um, but uh, I did get uh, some information. Uh, from yeah, these people that can remove vocals and remove instruments and stuff like that, and they sent me sent me some files. So they isolated the vocals and that. And uh, apparently, you know, you know, I I should be cr giving credit to the person who did this, but I don't know whether to mention their their name or not. I should have asked really before doing the video. But um, he knows who he is. But um, if you want credit, then tell me, and I'll put it in the box below. Um, he sent me the files, and it, it's basically. Back in 78, the song was sung with no click track, so they were like a jam, jamming. And so it was slightly speeding up towards the end or something, so it was, it was not exactly constant. Uh, so the 2021 backing track was done to a click track. So when they took the vocal away from the 78 version and put it o over the 2021 version, it was out. You know, the vocal, the, it would be out of sync, so they've had to chop, they've had to chop the... Um, the vocal. I mean, I, I think I might have perceived a little bit of a of a chop here and there, but it's covered by the music when they put the music over the top. You know, this kind of thing. Um, so it's interesting. I, I'm still convinced that the last couple of lines, you know, about the dream will come true or exceed. You know, that bit that that uh, is at the end. I think that's more Frida playing, being silly, you know, playing around a bit in the studio there, um, added in. I think. Um, and and also because we haven't heard. We didn't hear the first verse, the first part of the song in the initial thing. Um, some people saying, well, that's new vocal. Well, it could always have been there, but just obviously wasn't shared in 1994. So we don't know. But I'm pretty certain that the last few flourishes um, are definitely a new ABBA 21st century. Um, the on online campaign has been quite good. Um, you know, with the I think the phased the, <laughs> the trouble with phased release is you're in you're in you're in the in a global internet age. You know, it's okay to release it in New Zealand first, but then the first person in New Zealand is going to file share it to someone in you know in Los Angeles. So, you know, so um, it's a it's, it's nice. You know, phase it. You know, midnight here, midnight there, and everything. But it didn't kind of work because I mean, within 25 minutes, I think someone was already playing or hearing a telling everybody about what it was like in in Spain you know uh, the video now the video is a lyric video which is a bit of a disappointment because they've got so much technical stuff that they could have done an animation like uh, um, Elton John has recently had a big hit with song um, a recycled song but uh, it's been revamped with a uh, animation he's not in it but it's, you know they could have done something like that with all the technology I'm not criticized but you know and also, it's got typos in it, which they've uh, they've been made aware of, and so they hopefully will change the you know it's your your with a apostrophe r e your as in possessive your not you are you your your you know <laughs> um, or your your possessive yeah pos your possessive or your you are. 
if you know what I mean. But if you're if you're a non-English speaker, you won't have noticed it. But and I mean, I didn't notice it when I first played it. But then I thought, oh yeah, yeah, it's wrong. So that's being looked at. It might be re-uploaded. Um, BBC Radio Two. What are you up to? Um, okay, they've picked the song as a record of the week, which is gr- great boost for it. But they're playing at the moment, and it's still weekend. They're still playing the version recorded in 1999 by Arrival as a snippet, uh, you know, the featured little loop that they're playing on Radio 2 on Facebook. Yeah. And, um, you know, certain people have um, brought it to their attention, but apparently nobody works at the BBC at weekends and they can't change it. Ridiculous. And so now we've got, you know, um, the, all the songs that are featured on Record of the Week or the, the playlist, the playlist for Radio 2 next week, all of the songs with the original artists, you know, singing the song and blah, blah, blah. And ABBA isn't an ABBA song, just for, just the notion, but it's actually um, Arrival, and it sounds not very good. Um, so, you know, the streaming, you know, my, my whole thing about the streaming, we've got we've to get our act together with the streaming because uh, Adele gets 1,700 1, a day in the UK uh, streams <laughs> per day. So... It's 24 hours later, so today, hopefully, Just a Notion will come into the streaming. So let's have a look and see what how we're doing with that. Um, once again, you know, this thing about sent, doing it as a CD single, very nice, one track, but no vinyl. You know, again, you know, I, I know, the, I know the chart, the chart, the chart, the chart. But you know, if you if you think about it, most of the people that are going to buy the CD single will have bought a vinyl as well in the bundle. You know, it's all shipped together now. So you could have easily done a vinyl. I know vinyl plants are at full whack with the other stuff, and mainly Abba and Adele and Ed Sheeran vinyls and stuff like that. But they could have done a vinyl for um, for that, uh, for just a notion, so that it would nudge it up a bit. Because you know, I don't know if this is going to just a notion is going to turn out to be uh, a Marmite or Vegemite uh, record, which is either you love it or you hate it. It's just the way it is. It's, it's, I'm getting that kind of feedback uh, from comments that I'm hearing from people. Um, oh, yeah, and there's a couple of other things I've noticed. Uh, there's a special edition Australia Voyage LP vinyl being released, and people are trying to get it, and they can't... You know, geo-blocking, I love it. Yeah, they're really annoying, geo-blocking. You tried to buy it, and you can't buy it. It does not ship too, does not ship too. Um, um, so um, there's a you know it's a green and yellow marbled effect kind of um, album, which um, nobody can get unless you're in Australia. But um, I know there's people that are trying to sort of break through the geo blocking. I don't know whether they do it. I, you know, it's quite it's the same album, but it's just Australia only. And the CD T-shirt, CD box set with a T-shirt thrown in, it's about fifty dollars. That's only available on the American website well i actually went there clicked and i ignored go to your own country and, and went to the u.s um shop it allowed me to get there and it allowed me to get to paypal but i don't particularly want to get the cd t-shirt box set thing because to me that that's not really very, you know got stuff with t-shirt <laughs> um yeah it's, but but i did get as far as paypal and uh, getting the little code on my phone to, to do the purchase. So I think I might have been able to navigate into the US, US shop to buy it. So if anybody <laughs> wants me to give it a whirl, you know, as, as, as long as you pay for the cost and, you know, and the import taxes and all that, I'm quite happy to, if you want. Um, that's it, basically. Um, Sunday is midweek chart position someone has access to the top 20 so if it gets into the top 20 on that it's okay but if, if we don't hear it getting into the top 20 on that midweek chart it means it will it will slip and it will miss um and then on i think on monday night they they release the top 100 so we'll actually get a, a, a sniff as to where, whether this is gonna work um and um that's a, that's all really i mean overall yeah, I, I, I've come over from the camp of, you know, sceptic to liking it. You know, it's a real stomper. Reminds me of Why Did It Have To Be Me, Rock Me, Bit Of Waterloo, Oompa Oompa in there, and uh, even taking a track on an album and going retro, because I think Angel Eyes, although it was a, a disco album, 
Angel Eyes stood out as a 60s retro, you know, stop in the stomp, 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 da, 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 da. stop in the name of love, da, da. you know, retro to 60s for, on a 70s album. And this, this I think, goes back even further to Dwayne Eddy kind of thing. Um, is it Scuffle or Shiffle or Scuffle? One of it's, um, Boogie Woogie, uh, 1950s. You know, it's got that kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> has been compared to um, Benny Anderson Orchestra featuring Abba. <laughs> but uh, I think that's a, a, a sarcastic comment. Uh, but uh, it's, a, it's a, a happy song. Happy song. I think the vocals here and there could have been slightly um, wall of soundish. Is not quite there. I think this is uh, Michael B. Tretto's speciality. Um, whether the other tracks that go for this kind of third voice will uh, manage to emulate what he managed to do, we don't know. We did get it in "Don't Shut Me Down" to a degree, um, but um, just a notion definitely doesn't have the third voice in all of most of it. You know, when they're in unison, but they do have that kind of shrill thing that gets me really happy. Uh, you know, the high pitch. Uh, I know that that's 78 and I know that Benny and Bjorn used to lock Agneta and Friedrich in, in a room with a smorgasbord and a bottle of vodka until they came out doing these high notes, you know, so, you know, it's just one of those things, do it or, or do it or don't get out until you can't go home. Anyway, that's my thoughts on Just a Notion. Um, leave your comments and everything and if I've forgotten anything, please remind me for the next one. Ta-ta.